Hey, what is up, you guys? It is Elizabeth. Long time no see. As you also know, if you watch my videos, or if you don't, like, hey, my name's Haley. My middle name's Elizabeth. That's my YouTube channel, Haley Elizabeth. 14, bachelor room 15, um, May 31st. I live in Kentucky, just moved like a couple months ago, and it's just been, it's been crap. Today is going to get deep. We're going to be talking about moving. I'm going to be talking about moving. You guys should watch. Um, and it's going to get emotional for me because moving is one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Especially in the middle of your freshman year. But guys, can you like just look how pretty this scenery is? Um, yeah, I'm outside of the church right now because they're doing the playground. And so I decided it's really it's hot. It's like 95. The wind feels so good. So yeah, that is what we're doing today. So let's just get on with the video. Okay, so I asked some friends and was like, hey, what question should I have for this video? And I was like, it's about moving and like questions or if you want to like tell me something or words of encouragement. Um, but I just want to start off that every day I eat, I have two apps. One is like a Bible verse app and then one's like just like a encouraging quote. And I just kind of read those every day and I'll like like it or not. And sometimes I'll put it on my wall, I'll put it on my mirror, I'll use it for church. So like that like really helps to be honest um and it just like kind of gets my day going and it kind of starts it off on the right path it's very windy if you haven't already noticed um and so like that's like something really good in case you are moving or just like in period if you're just having a hard time to just kind of like download um those kind of things like look it up like daily scripture or daily words of encouragement or something in the app store and just like voila um i don't know one's I don't know what the names are the ones that I use, but I just know that they're great and it really helps. Um, but also, um, it really helps to pray a lot. That's like the number one go-to thing. It's just kind of like, I wake up and I like pray and then I'll pray as I go to school or like even in school. I'll just like sit there and kind of like just shut my eyes and just kind of like pray or do it at night and it just really, really helps. And sometimes it's just very, very emotional. Um, I read my Bible sometimes. I don't know. I always have a hard time sitting down and doing a devotion. That is so, so, so harsh for me. I don't know why. I just don't. I, like, I just don't. Like, I have devotion books. I have devotion books for my small group. And it's just, it's so hard for me to do. Um, but yeah, so let's just go on to the Q&A section because that's, like, all I have. Um, but those are just kind of, like, things that I do that are kind of, like, cope. And I guess I, like, friend, like, the number one thing that helps me so much is when my friends like come over and we hang out like I have like each day I have something different like Sunday I have church and I have a small group and then we'll my mom and dad also have a small group and like the kids from like those people's parents like they come over so, well I live right next to church so <laughs> I'm kind of always at the church but we'll just like play hide and seek and that is such like a big coping thing for me because it's so fun just kind of like relax and like play with them not like I don't know, just to have fun and just kind of like get that energy out and like Mondays I'm feeling on a Monday right now so I think that might be my like designate, designated um filming day is going to be Monday because I'm going to try and post weekly again it's just been really hard um Tuesday um my mom has a small group um and one of the kids one of the mom's son he's like really good friends with me and I love him I love him so much like He's like, like, he's gone through really hard stuff, like, even worse than me. Like, I haven't gone through a lot, but moving was just so hard for me. And he's gone through a lot, like, worse things than me. And I guess we kind of, like, sometimes we connect on that, I guess. I don't really know. But, like, we're just really good friends. And, like, uh, I would do a lot of things to, like, help him just get through this. And I'm, like, we're kind of always there for each other. It's just, like, really great. So, like, we hang out um, on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, of course, I have church and, like, I have a friend come home with me and we'll just like hang out together and then we'll come to church and just kind of like have that time to relax but also um to have that time with god at church um thursdays i don't have anything like thursdays is just kind of i guess my chill day it's kind of like another monday and then friday is obviously like um the weekend so usually um <laughs> one of my other guy friends he comes over on fridays and we'll just like hang out and we'll We'll jump on the trampoline and we'll play hide and go seek in the church and we'll have popsicles and it's just a really fun time and then saturday is usually just like saturday is nothing but like i'm okay with that like that's like 
my day to do laundry or my day to do my nails or like clean or just like sit and watch a movie and I think that's a really great time and then Sunday you know just repeat so like having those daily things that you look forward to is super super great um especially with school like now like I have this full week and then we have Monday Wednesday and Thursday left of next week um so it's getting there my friends from Missouri only have a half a day which is tomorrow which might be I don't know when I'm posting this. I might post it tomorrow. Well, today. I don't know. You know what? Just. Anyway, um, just kind of having this thing to look forward to every day. Now, I will do the questions. Um, so, I asked my friends and friends from Missouri, but also friends from Kentucky. So, my first one is How hard was it that you moved six hours away from the town you love? Um, it was. It. It was terrible. Like, you spend that sort of amount of time, like seven and a half years, is wild. And you just kind of spend that time with friends and people that you love so, so, so much. And like the town, like your first movement, it's like, mmm, this town's really crappy. But like, that was like, like the age that I spent there was me growing up. Like, yeah, I spent from like birth to a couple years old in St. Louis, like my hometown. But like Chill well, oh, I'm probably but like Missouri, like Chillicothe was like the place where you like grew up yourself. From second grade to middle of freshman year, like that's your time just kinda of to like to see everything. I'm just kinda of go and I guess like high school to college is also a part, but like I'm not there yet. <laughs> um but it was so, it's still so hard. Like, it's still, like, I wake up in the morning and I dread the moment that I have to walk into school. I have to go to school. And, like, I wait for me to just go home and kind of relax and just do whatever daily thing I would like to do. Okay. So one of my friends also asked me, what is your favorite thing about Concord? And Concord's a church that, um, that I'm at right now, <laughs> um, that we're, that we'll be a part of. My favorite thing is just, everything like the people were so so welcoming and like their age group is also so different from like little people to old people and like i have more friends in my age group now like i didn't i only had a very very few that were like i would actually like be with um but now there's just so many people and they're so nice and it's like i've made friends with like a lot of the people so it's really really helpful but like the like the church is so nice it's so it's big and it's roomy and there's so many like different things like different, different things that the church will do like they've had like games and stuff like that but also like volley there was a volleyball league that i had joined they're doing softball right now but i've never played softball in my life and everyone's like Haley, you should play softball i'm like no <laughs> i've never played softball before um but, like the living easter scene like we came like a little bit before Easter, but it was so, so, so fun, and I, like, I met my best friend, and I met another, another specific person, but, like, it's just, living Easter scene was so fun, and it was, like, I'm afraid of public speaking, and I was literally, like, an angel. I was back, I was back there. I was sitting on a, I was standing on, a, like, a little broken table. It was, it was broken, and I would just, like, say my words, and it was so, like, I was terrified, but, like, at the same time, it was also something that I needed to do to kind of overcome my fear, but I also met, I also got closer to other people, like, me and Alyssa, we're super good friends now, and, like, I met Jaden, I met Caleb, and I really met, like, all these, I met other people, but I also got closer to all those other people, and it was just super, it was a really fun growing experience, so I guess, like, the opportunities that the church has now, and just, wow, I talk a lot. <laughs> um, just kind of like the opportunities and the people. Like the people, 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 people. People are such a big, like, difference. And people affect so many things. Like, pe some some people are like, ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm me and I'm me. Like, I don't really care about other people. But, like, other people affect your life so, so much. And, like, later on in the video, you'll be able to see that. Okay. What's your least favorite thing about Kind Hat? The people. They're so rude, they're so immature, they're, oh my goodness, they cuss, they do sex, they do drugs, and they do all that kind of stuff, and it just bothers me so much, like, I can make friends, like, if I, like, I can make friends, like, you can quote me on that, 
But, like, I don't want to be friends with all the people that are there. Like, I tell this to people all the time. We'll be like, well, how about you just, like, you just need a friend to, like, be there with you. It's like, I don't, I don't want to make friends with them. And I guess that's, like, really, really hard. Because, like, with the people. Um, yeah. Okay, what's the hardest part about moving to a new school? Leaving all the people that I loved behind and trying to start just getting yourself in like going into freshman year is one of like is hard alone but going to a new school your freshman year is even harder and especially in the middle of a year like i did like i moved during christmas break like moving like going into freshman year like everyone is trying to make new friends but going in the middle they've already made new friends i haven't and it was just so hard to try and not put myself out there and be like a shining light for other people but also to grow more as a person for me and try and go daily without dreading school trying to go daily without hating my classes and hating the people i don't hate people i just really very strongly dislike people but yeah it's just so hard going and kind of doing that and just restarting do you miss your old school and friends and Kirsten specifically? <laughs> Kirsten asked me that. Um, I miss my old school so much. I miss my friends so much. Like, my old school was so comforting, I guess you could say. Like, I knew so many people that everyone was like, everyone was there for me in upper grades too. So, like, they'd be like, oh, well, here's this room, or like, here's this little trick or something and they like helped me through it but like here I have no one and it was just it's hard like I miss them so much and like to be honest I'll like cry about it and it's hard because the fact that it's not like I can just go back like I can like during breaks or something but I just can't go back and see them and it's just like, that's really tough, and yes, I miss everyone. I miss you, Kirsten. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do miss my old school and my friends. Anyway, next question. What did it feel like to have to leave all your friends behind and not get to see them again? It was, it was like a piece of me was missing. Like, I couldn't be myself with everyone here, and with them, I could just, with them, it was just me. And here, it's everyone else. And like, I, they said, and not to see them again. Like, I will see them again. Like, I will try everything to see them again. Like, I'm seeing Aiden this summer because we're going on a vacation to Florida. I'm seeing Emma this summer because she's coming down. I don't know if her sister is or not because she, I guess she gets homesick. Um, but like, it was, it was tough. It was very hard. It still is hard. Um, but I, I will see you guys again. Like, it's, it's a priority this summer. The next question was, what was the best part of getting, about getting to restart? Um, restarting. You didn't really restart. You just, I didn't restart. Everyone's like, well, oh, you can be a new person and you can do the things that you really truly want to do. And you can really just be yourself. But, like, I was already myself. I didn't have a mask that I had to take off. I didn't have things that I wasn't doing that I didn't already like. Like, everything I did was because I wanted to do it. Because I loved it. Because I had my friends with me. And, like, they they liked it, too. So, it was perfectly, it was perfectly fine. But I wouldn't say I restarted. I just kept on going but it was just harder and harder and harder every single day I mean it's still it's still it was hard but like I didn't restart it's just I was it was like I was restarting but I like me was not restarting I was just starting in a new place like everything around me was restarting I was not restarting and I feel like some people move and they like wipe away their whole identity from wherever they moved from but like no like I kept my identity like I'm still the same person like I mean of course I've changed in different ways like I would change no matter what but like it's not like I completely changed a new person 
So I wouldn't say I restarted at all. The next question, was it hard to find friends and adapt? Um, it's hard to find good friends. Again, as I said earlier, everyone here is so, so bad. And I, like my church friends, are like the only people who I can really like truly depend on and like who were there for me and who I would actually want to be friends with. Um, but yeah, it was so hard to just change everything. Not really change, not change everything. But just kind of everything around me changing. And trying to adapt to that was, it still is hard. And it's just, it's not, it's, no one should have to go through this. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't care how old you are. Like, when I first moved to Chile Coffee, it was like, I was in second grade. I was going into second grade. And like, you kind of don't remember that. But like, if you can remember it, then you shouldn't have to go through it at all. Especially, like, going into high school or, like, in your high school. But yeah, it was, it was, it still is hard. The next question was it weird not knowing where everything was considering, considering you lived in the same town growing up? Um, it was definitely difficult. It's still, I mean, everything is still now. Like, it was, it's still like, they're like, oh, do you know where this place is? And I'm like, nope. It's like, oh, go to 516 or something. It's like, I don't know where that is. <laughs> or like, go to the 100 hall. It's like, what are you talking about? Um, but yeah, it was, it's, it was definitely weird because they're like, all these things and, yeah, it was definitely weird. <laughs> I think it still is weird. Okay. Next question is, <laughs> when Molly Grace said this. Hi, Molly Grace. Um, I don't know if these people actually watch, um, but I know friends of them watch it. Molly Grace asked me, Ethan or Will? And I was thinking about it. And I was like, well, does she mean a friend or does she mean, like, as like a boyfriend. Will's annoying, very annoying. He's on my nerves a lot. Um, but I guess it's it's joke. It's hopefully it's just a joke to him. Um, I take it as a joke all the time. And Ethan's like Ethan's so like I don't know how to say this. Like he's such a he's a good person to me, or he's a good person to people I'm with. Like I don't see a bad side of with Ethan. I just know he can get upset sometimes. And I guess Will is always I don't know. <laughs> Will does, Will does damage. Um, again, I think it's a joke to him, but I think Ethan takes those things seriously. But if I had to choose between Ethan or Will, it would def, it would be, it would be Ethan, because Will is just, I don't know if I can handle him like at all. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, a little. Now yeah, that was interesting. Um, next question is: Do you have a favorite thing about Hoptown yet? And Hoptown is like what um, is Hopkinsville? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say a favorite. Um, this thing, there's a person that's my favorite. That's my favorite thing about Hot Town, but I don't want to like specify. <laughs> um, well, I was just at a church. The people there, um, people, just people in general, like people affect everything, and some people don't get that. Like, yes, you're affecting something right now. No matter if you're in a church, if you're in a school, if you're at a team, if what. But you're affecting something. And you're affecting other people's lives. And it may be good, it may be bad. But, like, you got to realize that. Um, so, yeah. That was all the questions I have. But, anyway, um, that is all I have for you guys today. This video, I don't know how long it's going to be. It may be long, maybe not. I don't really know. Um, but I hope you got something out of it just to realize something and just change either your life or the people around you. Cause like, I don't make this video just to put out there that I'm suffering and you all should feel bad for me. Like, no, you guys should try, you guys help me. And I don't, there's like, I don't know. I have like 32 subscribers. I don't really care the number is like, I don't care how many likes I get. I don't care how many dislikes I get. I don't care how many subscribers I have. I just want you guys to to know that I need every single person in the world. Like, I need all of you guys to understand these things that I'm going through are tough right now and I need support. And I need some, I need people there that can just like lift me up and also be there for me. And just kind of change that. 
So, yes. Um, sorry I've been gone for so long, but again, it's been super, super hard even to get myself to press the record button. Like, before I started filming this, I had my hand by the record button. I just, like, I didn't want to press it. And it was just, it's hard. And I guess filming is also something that I use to cope with because the fact that everything's hard and filming used to be so fun with friends and video ideas but it's just even harder now because the fact that winter was kind of like Husey Caleb. <laughs> uh, my brother. Gross. Um, but winter was kind of like the fun things were happening like winter jam and there was extreme winter there was snow and but now it's just like summer's summer's coming thankfully but it's coming super super slow like hello can you please move quicker um but it's also changing a lot and my summer has plans like i'm i'm a busy woman this well not woman i wouldn't call myself a woman i'm a busy lady this summer and that's also going to help a lot because the fact that i'll be seeing people and i'll be doing things constantly and it'll just be great to kind of like have that time filled up um but yeah i'm sorry i haven't filmed, for, filmed and posted for a while i had a video filmed um i went to chloe's house on my my bestest friend in the whole world um in the whole wide world slow it down a little bit um and we i filmed vlogging we went to the mall we went and saw movies we went to this jumping place which was super super fun um i'm also going to be doing things this summer so if you want to know what my summer plans are comment down below and you know be like what do you guys want to see i don't care who you are but what would you like to see me film or what would you like to see me do and like feedback is great um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of this leave a like down below subscribe while you're down there and click the little bell that says like remind me of everything because if not you might not be reminded and um i'll try posting videos weekly and i be on a tuesday couldn't tell you um but i will see you guys later bye